What's up, wrestling fans? CM Punk goes off burying people. And I, I, I'm going to tell you in a few minutes why all wrestlers are scumbag lying fucking losers. So that's going to be fun in a few minutes when we do that. And I'll prove it to you a million times over. Um, but boy, boy, was I right. I love it. I got a big smile on my face. Do you remember when CM Punk first signed to AEW? And he said, man, you know why I signed? Because this locker room was for real. And... They weren't toxic, and they don't throw each other under the bus, and they don't do terrible things. I saw how people came together with Brody Lee's death. Liar! But CM Punk is also the guy that says AJ Styles is a racist. So either AJ Styles isn't a racist, or he is a racist, but why do most people love AJ Styles if he's a racist? Well, CM Punk said he was, so either CM Punk's a liar or AJ Styles is a racist who hangs out with the New Day. I don't know. So could it be actually that everyone's a fucking liar who's a wrestler? Could that actually be what it is? Could all the people who said that they were going to get me a job in the company or they were going to get me hired, all oh, my commentary is so good, just say the nice things about us? Liars. These fucking people are no better than Hollywood scum liars. They're all fucking liars. I got news for you. And I don't care. I'll watch wrestling and I'll love guys. I love Jericho. I like Punk. He entertains me sometimes. These people are all full of shit. CM Punk calls out John Moxley. Uh, Dave Meltzer, the stooge Chris Jericho, in a now-deleted Instagram story. CM Punk writes in the now deleted Instagram story, it I wasn't cleared to wrestle yet. Then the plan was to wrestle at the pay per view. I sat and listened to Moxley's Rocky Three idea. I'd explained how I'd never, uh, how I'd never a Rocky movie, and I thought the idea sucked. But if the boss wanted to do it, whatever. He said he wouldn't lose to me. I never experienced someone refusing to lose to me. Punk continued. I just laughed. I asked Tony if that's what you want. He said yes. He's the boss, so I said okay, but I'd need to be cleared first. They kept saying it could just be a squash so that I didn't need to be cleared. I scoffed at that. My health is more important. Dave Meltzer is a liar. Chris Jericho is a liar and a stooge. There were plans, but plans always change. But I'll never put a company above my health ever again. So... I don't know who I believe here. I don't know who I believe, man. These people are all fucking liars. It's hard to tell. CM Punk is one of the biggest fake fucks there is. This is a guy who flip out on you if you say something against gays, yet he'll call someone the F word in the crowd and a homo and stuff like that. This is a guy who screams about racists and fascists and all these people and yet he'll be a fascist to people. The guy is completely full of shit. CM Punk is a fake fuck. You know what it's about? It's about the fucking money. And it always is with people like CM Punk, isn't it? It's always about the fucking money. It ain't about the locker room was good or great because you know and I know that the locker room is shit. That locker room is full of fuckheads, is what it is. You're a fuckhead, CM Punk. Chris Jericho, I I have more stake in stock in Chris Jericho than you. Chris Jericho shows up unannounced on random people's GoFundMes and gives them thousands of dollars. Chris Jericho, to me, is the closest thing to real you can get, I think. I think you're the fucking stooge. I, now, I think a lot of other people are stooges. Don't get me wrong. I think they're all backstabbers in some regard, and I do think Chris Jericho is a little bit of a sucky pants. But Chris Jericho, I have more, I have, I have more faith in Chris Jericho than CM Punk. Because I've seen Chris Jericho try to do the right thing a million times over. 
I don't have many examples of CM Punk doing the right thing. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like all these people are scumbag fucks, including Dave Meltzer. He's a fucking cocksucker. Sean fucking Cyclops is a cocksucker. They're all in it just for the money. That's all anybody's in anything for. These fucking wrestlers are fake as shit. Prove me wrong. Oh, it's the greatest locker room. This is the greatest thing. Nah, you're just fucked up like all the other wrestlers ever were, like all the other companies ever were. It ain't nothing but my friend gets hired. That's all it is for Tony Khan. It's not about the best announcer, the best this or the best that. It's about my friend got a job. You know what I mean? We're going to cancel Hulk Hogan, but Excalibur can say the N-word and call wrestling. You know what I mean? Oh, Joe Cronin, you'll never get a job because you said offensive things. So has not all their, their people. It's all just who you know and who you want to jerk off. It's all fake fuck. So CM Punk telling me now that, oh, they're all stooges. Well, which one is it? One minute they're the greatest locker room ever. Now they're all a bunch of stooges. One minute you love this guy. The next minute he's a scumbag. How many fucking people does it take to go through for you to realize that not only is CM Punk a fake fuck, but so isn't every wrestler ever? CM Punk, oh, the only fucking stand-up guy is Colt Cabana. Oh, wait, now I hate Colt Cabana, and I'm going to sue him in court. And Colt Cabana sues me, and we're all scumbags. You fucking bunch of scumbag liar fucks. You can't pass one over on Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin knows that you're all full of shit. And that's why I don't have that much respect or care for people's opinions. Because it doesn't matter worth a goddamn. You know who seems like they might be real to me? MJF seems like he might be real to me. Chris Jericho is mostly pretty real to me as well. But just about everybody else can kiss my ass as far as I believe a damn thing that they say about a damn thing. Because time in and time out, they're liars. They go the other way. And they're friends with somebody for about five seconds before they're throwing them under the bus or treating them like garbage or kicking them to the curb or saying that, oh, they're a bad person, pointing fingers left and right. Well, how about you point the finger at yourself? And while you do that, turn your finger into a fist and then stick your own fist up your ass and then start feeding yourself your own shit because that's about all you're worth. CM Punk, you're a fucking cunt. And I hope your older brother steals your piggy bank again. I hope he steals your fucking piggy bank, your menorah, and that stupid fucking dog of yours that got its ass kicked in the locker room by those fucking elite pussies, bullies, who bully the fuck out of people and diddle themselves to anime porn. Fuck your whole goddamn locker room, you fucking liars, you fake fucking liar locker room full of shit people. You don't give a fuck. You pretended to love each other. You pretended like you gave a fuck about a little midget like Marco Scudero or whatever the fuck his name is, Marco Stunt, the fucking just like the baseball player, he's a midget. You don't care if he gets injured and breaks his neck in the ring on the independent scene because he ain't got nothing left to live for, and he's going to bust his neck open on the indie scene, and he's going to have stacked up medical bills that are higher than my goddamn taxes, and he's going to be in fucking poverty for the rest of his life. You don't give a fuck about him. I bet you Jericho donates like two grand to him, but the rest of you give no shits whatsoever. Hey, CM Punk, I've never seen you donate to some dickhead who got hurt in the backyard in a ring because you don't give a shit because you're an asshole scumbag fuck. And I'll never forget that AJ Styles is a racist, according to CM Punk. That's That's what it is. But thank God that Hulk Hogan isn't allowed in the company because there's some real stand-up people working in AEW right now. Let me tell you something. They're real fucking stand-up. And let me tell you something else as I lose my fucking voice. You better hope and pray to God that I don't invent a time machine and go back in time and get into wrestling shape again. Because if I did, I'd step foot in that ring and I'd bite that fucking big nose off of MJF and then I'd take his title too. Because I'd be the only one that can goddamn compete with that tan piece of garbage from the smokestack state of New Jersey. New Jersey, a place covered in people that aren't worth the weight in fucking gold. They ain't worth shit. They're all a bunch of scumbags driving shitty cars hoping to make a couple dollars off the backs of the homeless. That's New Jersey. Fuck you, MJF, you scumbag and your stupid scarves. 
You suck, pal. And let me tell you something else. That roster is so shitty that you would ne- you'll would you be champion for the next 10 years because there ain't a slapped-up, fuck-faced, goddamn SJW fake fuck person in that locker room that can possibly come out there and stand up to MJF and beat him on the mic. It, ain't, it just ain't going to happen, brother. It's not going to happen. So keep your little Excalibur with his mask covering his ugly fucking face and keep that Tony Schiavone with his fucking earring ready to wax his legs on a Sunday back behind the desk and keep that midget fourth wall wrestling goddamn kayfabe breaking Taz with his bald ass head and his number 13 tattooed to his anus and his ball sack behind the desk so they can all circle jerk and butt fuck each other every Wednesday night. You know what that means. It means you're all full of shit. And I know it, and you know it, and there ain't a damn thing you can do to convince me that you're not. Now fuck you, CM Punk, you scumbag, straight edge, yeah. You straight edge, you're straight up a fucking lying scumbag. Subscribe, you fucking cowards.